Next goes back to its regular time slot, 6 p.m. starting Monday. Being off by an hour is, is, is weird, but you know that because because daylight saving time, right? Politics guy Marshall Zellinger looks at the newest version of a bill that would outlaw the time shift. Colorado lawmakers have spent years debating about time. This is a completely different bill. This dude, Democratic State Senator Jeff Bridges and Republican State Senator Ray Scott have a new version of a bill to get Colorado to stop changing clocks. This is different in that it moves us to year-round standard time, not daylight time. We can't go to year-round daylight time because Congress won't let us. Give me an hour of your time. Former Republican State Senator Greg Brophy tried multiple times, unsuccessfully, to have Colorado stay on daylight saving time, which would have also required U.S. Congress to approve. Greg has spent a great deal of his life dedicated to this issue. If lawmakers approve this new version, it would be put on the November ballot for voters to decide if we stay on standard time, meaning the time that it is right now. So we'd still have those early 4.30 p.m. sunsets in the winter and earlier sunsets in the summer. So it means that in the summer, yes, the sun would set at 8 p.m. instead of 9 p.m., which means you could actually get your kids to go to bed on time. Watch this Google Earth demonstration. If we were always on standard time on the first day of summer, June 21st, this sunrise would be at 4.30 a.m. Sunset, 730. I think this is the kind of issue that people of Colorado deserve to have a direct say in. It's something that directly affects their life. The Secretary of State's office tracks which groups lobby for and against legislation. The last few years, when the bill has been to keep daylight saving time, meaning keeping our summer clocks, Colorado Ski Country has repeatedly lobbied against going to the later sunrise. A spokesman for the group was unable to talk today about support or opposition to keeping the earlier sunrise. Former Republican State Senator Greg Brophy, he's traveling today, but he told me by text he still prefers that daylight time, the summertime, and that trying to stay on winter time year round will draw opposition that otherwise would be silent. And one group that I reached out to about that was the golf industry. Yeah. Uh, they don't have a position yet, but can you imagine what would be more popular? 7.30 twilight golf uh -huh. versus 4.30 a.m. golf. Would we, would we have to move our morning show to like 3.30 in the morning then? Would that, would that create a hardship for like Gary Shapiro? If businesses start having you come in <laughs> earlier, shifting rush hour traffic an hour yeah. earlier, then yeah. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't want to laugh about this because I mean, this affects people's lives in big time ways and clearly big money interests are very interested in it as well. Oh yeah, and there's a, a study that we'll get into if you want to look at the web story about energy and Indiana has different counties that sometimes mirror, like some standard, some daylight. Anyways, yep. energy, we're better off supposedly from that study on daylight than standard. All right, I love this debate. It's just, it's a nice change of pace from the normal stuff. Marshall, thank you.